tree being there? I don't remember any of these trees being here. Oh, Check it out. Animal Junction is packed with plants. Plants are everywhere. And where you'll find plants, you'll always find animals. Hummingbirds are always sticking their faces in flowers looking for nectar. And koalas love chewing down on eucalyptus leaves. Guess who loves leaping through the trees? You know it. Sabumafu! Let's call him. Zabu! Hey, Zabumafu! Zabumafu! <laughs> nice leaping, Zabu! Have a look at this place. It's like a forest. Just your kind of place. Zabu's made for leaping through the trees. His legs are built specially for tree leaping. That's why he looks so funny when he tries to leap along the ground. His legs don't walk, they leap. And his mouth doesn't talk, it eats. Eats first, then talks. Zabu broccoli! Yeah, you love broccoli, don't you, buddy? We can't have them all. Here, wait, just take one, just take one. There you go. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Hi there! Green is a yummy color, and Animal Junction is looking yummier than ever. Green creatures everywhere. And that's your favorite color, right, Sal? Oh, yeah, but I like all colors. Blue, red, yellow, green. Green. The creature I saw was green. Was? Yeah, a funny, round, green creature. Who could it be? She was green and round and hanging from a tree. Then she fell off. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Bogotska. Bogotska. Animal. She was smooth and round and yummy, too. Creature. Do you know who she is? Green and round, mm -hmm. smooth and round. Mm -hmm. It's Toothbrush! <laughs> I named him Toothbrush because of his hairs. They're like the hairs on this thingy you brush your teeth with. So Zabu says the mystery creature is riding in his trunk. Let's see. A lime! The mystery creature is a lime! <laughs> the mystery animal's here and she's a lime! <laughs> Well, she's a green creature. The trees are alive. This might not look like a creature, but inside this fruit, there are creatures. Two seeds will grow into a special tree called a Mexican lime tree. Now, I think somebody right here wants the fruit. Down the hatch. All these creatures are alive. They just don't walk around and talk like we do. Manga, Zika, brothers, my mind just had the idea of the century. You guys are always building machines, right? Well, today, I'm gonna build a machine. I'm gonna build a machine that talks to plants. The green speaker. 
All I need is some tools. Do you think you can do it, Zob? It'll be easy. <laughs> easy. Do you really think Zabu can build a machine that talks to plants? Do you really think so, Popcorn? A machine that talks to plants? How you doing, Zob? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm almost done. <laughs> Popcorn, this is going to be the greatest invention of all time. Soon, we'll be talking to plants. Mm. I just know these plants have a lot to say. Yeah, you do too? <laughs> I can't wait. Stand back, because here I go. <laughs> finished! Kinka juice, binturongs, and monkeys, it's finished! The greatest lemur invention of all time, the green speaker! <laughs> Watch my machine, Popcorn. Now listen while the plants talk to me. Uh, hello, plants. Uh, uh, how are you? Huh. Nothing. Well, you know, don't worry about it, Zabu. Here, let's plant these oh. lime seeds. Oh, okay. Here, here's one for you. Okay. Come on. I thought it was gonna work. Why don't you <gasps> plant the seed here? Good soil. <gasps> You're talking! My green machine worked! <laughs> hey, down here! If you plant me here and help me grow, I'll give you a surprise. Well, uh, of course. I love surprises. Surprises are my favorite kind of prizes. Um. You just tell me what to do, right? I'll call you a uh, uh, seed prize. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Chris, come here. The plants are alive. Listen, they're talking. Well, anything can happen in Animal Junction. But I don't hear anything, Zabu. Well, he said if I helped him grow, he'd give me a surprise. Okay. Well, there are three things a plant needs to grow. Sunlight, huh? good soil, and water. Oh. Well, what about here? Yeah, there's lots of sunlight, and the soil looks really good. Don't forget water, Zabu. Okay, water coming up. Do your stuff, toothbrush. <laughs> toothbrush! Ooh, nice shot, toothbrush. <laughs> you got me. You know what? Now that the little seed has what he needs to grow, I can have a leaf snack break. <laughs> oh, hi. Who are you? He's a two-toed sloth, Zabu, and he loves eating green creatures. Wow. He eats leaves and bark. Hmm. You move so slow. Hey, that gives my mind an idea. That's what I'll call you, slow. Mangatsika, there's another one. I'll call him slower. Good name, Zabu. That's because sloths take their time. They just move around very slowly. The big reason for this is that they have to conserve energy to digest all the leaves they eat. Well, green is a yummy color, isn't it? Dig in. Easy, guys, easy. I need those leaves. That's where I make my food. The trees are alive. <laughs> We're always alive. But we need those leaves so we can turn soil, sunlight, and water into food that makes us Whoa. grow. Like that. Only we grow much slower. Wow. So that's how you do it. But we need your leaves to grow, too. Well, um, how about if uh, Slow and I uh, weed a few leaves here, and, th and then we move on to a tree over there? Well, then there'll be plenty of leaves left. Good plan. Hey, Martin, come here, quick. What, Zabu? Well, listen. What? Well, huh? he was talking. Who, the slot? No, 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 the tree. Yeah, lemur's honor. The tree was talking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you heard him, didn't you? Fling, did you hear him? Zabu, come here! What? Do you know who this is? Your seed, he's growing. Oh, seed prize, look at you, you're all grown up. Oh, I want to talk to him, where's the green speaker? Uh, green speaker? Fling, Fling has oh. a green speaker. Oh no, oh no, no, Fling, don't throw it or it'll break! I'll get it! <laughs> Got it! Phew, that was close. If the green speaker broke, well, I'd never be able to talk to Seed Prize again, and then I'd never find out what the surprise is. Thanks, Chris. Do you think this green speaker really works? Of course, yeah. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Zabu, your tree grew even more. <laughs> I'm a Mangatsika tree grower, and I didn't even know it. And it's a good thing I like surprises, because that's what I'm going to get for helping Seed Prize grow. Yeah. What do you think, Kinkajou? Uh, wait, let's see. He loves it. <laughs> 
The kinkajou loves it. And trees only grow this fast at Animal Junction. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's into your machine, too. Yeah. Whoa. And Zabu, look at this. Huh? Here's a surprise for you. Your tree grew flowers. Oh, well, yeah. Well, they make seed prize look nice. But not only that, Sabu. Check out this flower. See these stalks with the yellow bulbs on top? Oh, yeah? They're called stamens. Stamen. And they make the yellow stuff called pollen. Oh. Now, the pollen has to get from one plant to the next plant so that the plants can make more seeds. Oh. Well, you better get going, pollens. To get going, they need help from pollinators. Kinkajous are great pollinators. A kinkajou loves to eat nectar from a flower, so he sticks his head in, and then you know what happens? He gets all of the pollen on his head. And then when he goes over to another flower, he brings that pollen with him, and the pollen gets stuck on this little red thing there. And now this flower has everything it needs to make seeds to make new plants. There are lots of different pollinators in the creature world, like butterflies, and bugs, and bees. Bees have really hairy bodies that a lot of pollen sticks to. And then they go over to the next flower and some of that pollen falls off. Zabu, now I need pollen so I can make seeds. The tree's alive. Brothers, come quick. What's up? The what? seed prize just asked me to get some pollen so she could grow some seeds. Listen. I don't hear anything. Oh, no. Not again. Well, you heard her, right? Well, Zabu, if you want to keep trying to help the tree grow so you can find out what the surprise is, why don't you start pollinating like a bee? Oh, okay. Just call me Zabi. Get it? Zabi? Because I'm a bee, and I'm feeling kind of bee-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bee-ish. How about you, bee-ish? I feel bee-ish. Bee-ish. A striped little buzzer moving pollen all around. Bee-ish. Zabi the pollinator is finished, and Zabu the lemur is ready for his surprise. <laughs> Zabu's green speaker. Fling's flinging it again. Oh, no. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> nice save, Martin. Thanks, Abu. Well, if that thing broke, I wouldn't be able to talk to the plants anymore. And I'd never find out what their surprise is. I think you're getting it right now, Zabu. Look! Zabu's tree grew little limes. Look at them. But that's not all. Hang on! Ah! Fruit is falling! Fruit is falling! Ah! It's fruit surprises from all the green creatures! <laughs> Treat for all of us! Dig in, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Green creatures make the yummiest things. Mm. It's good, huh? Look at the huge bites the kinkajou takes out of this pear. Wow. Another creature who loves what green creatures can do. <laughs> That's the yummiest surprise I've ever seen. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Does an elephant peel a banana? He mushes it up in his trunk, but he eats it, peels and all. Fling likes fruit from the banana tree. Look at how he puts it in his mouth and then spits it out again. Fling doesn't like to waste any banana. Now, you know, when you think about it, whenever you eat fruit, you're eating something that a green creature gave you. See, did I ever tell you about the time we almost ran out of goobleberries in Sabu Land? I was leaping along, <laughs> leap, 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 when I almost leaped, whoa, right into Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> What's the matter with everyone? We're hungry, Zabu. Yeah, there's only one goobleberry bush left for all of us. And just one. Oh. Must eat, must eat, must uh, eat. Oh, no. Oh. The goobles going to eat all the goobleberries. Never fear. Zabu the super lemur is here. Oh, wait, 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 goobble. Inside these goobleberry fruits are seeds. Well, if we plant these seeds in the ground, a whole new goobleberry bush will grow, and we'll have lots of goobleberries. But how are we going to plant them, then? I can't dig with these small arms. I can dig holes. Great idea, Noggin Drill. 
So I called Buggy right, and jumped on his back with a pile of goobleberries with Narchi underneath. So while Noggendrill dug holes, I loaded Narchi's nose and he blew goobleberries in all the little holes all over Zabu land. Gooble kicked the dirt over the seeds and before long, new goobleberries grew all over Zabu land. Yeah, it worked. The super lemur saved the day with his brains. I love that lemur. And everyone had lots to eat. The end. <laughs> you have great stories, Zabu. And green creatures have great surprises. Green creatures are the greatest creatures around. <laughs> yeah, even though they don't talk. They do talk. Pass me the green speaker. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It's smashed. Well, don't worry about it, Zabu. You learned so much about plants today, didn't you? Besides, maybe the plants only wanted to talk to you. Yeah, maybe. Only us. Incoming duck! It's not a duck, it's Moonface, the barn owl. Hi, Moonface. Moonface, do you like apples? He doesn't eat fruit, hmm? Zabu. But hmm. a toucan does. Beaks up! A nice catch, toucan. Well, maybe <laughs> Moonface can't do that, but he does have a message. From the animal helpers. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. I love strawberries, so I planted some in my garden. I watered them and took care of them. And now they're ripe and ready to pick. Mmm, and boy, they're good. Oh, I see somebody else who loves strawberries. I better not eat them all. Because today, I'm helping my mom make strawberry jam. And you know what the best part about making jam is? Eating it! Green creatures help everybody. Yep, and now it's your turn to help them, Zabu. Okay, I can do that. Hey, Popcorn, I brought all the grapes you can eat. Here, help yourself. Yeah, yummy, huh? Yep, dig in. Red is a yummy color. Oh, excuse me, here, want some more? When you've eaten the fruit, you're ready to plant the seeds. Because when a creature eats fruit, she eats the seeds, too. Then she carries the seeds in her body to another part of the forest and drops the seeds off in her poop. And that's where another tree will grow. So animals help plants by moving their seeds around. See ya, Popcorn. Oh, I think Popcorn's going to drop off seed more right now. Seed more? Yeah, that's what I named the seed that Popcorn ate. Well, let's follow Popcorn and see where she puts seed more. But first, to the closet! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. It's now or never. Do it, brother. Hey! hey. All right! Oh, 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 oh. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. Bye, brothers. I'll be fixing the green speaker. Yeah. Well, we made it to India. And if Popcorn's heading home, he should be just up ahead. I can't say anything. Oh, I can't either. It's thick in here. Oh, where we go? Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Whew. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, but look what we found. An old Indian ruin. Wow, let's check it out. Big door's locked. But the little door's open. Come on. This place is awesome. You're telling me. Wow, this fortress was built over a thousand years ago. That's a lot of years. But now it's deserted by people anyway. And since there are no human creatures here anymore, the green creatures are coming back. They're taking over and making a forest again. Making a forest again. Making a forest again. Look at the way the fig tree wraps itself around the pillar and sends its roots down into the ground. And look at this. Check out how the roots find their way through the cracks and go in and out the building. They'll go through anything to get to the soil. Listen. 
It's coming from inside. Let's take a look. Bats! They're tomb bats, and there are about 30 of them living in this ancient schoolhouse. Amazing! It's their home now. And you know what? Green creatures are making it possible for all sorts of other creatures to move in and make this fortress their home. Langer monkey, jumping from tree to tree. Wild dogs on the run through the forest. And the tiger, camouflaged in the grass. <laughs> and the wild pig, rooting in the soil for food. A lot of creatures love these bear fruits. And by eating them, they plant more seeds. Let's help these creatures plant more seeds. So even more creatures can grow. Furball. Furball. Uh, nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see your swing, Chris. All right. Woo! Hole in one. Take that. <laughs> I've been working on my short game. Yeah. Woo! Right in the pocket. Sunk it. Next shot's the winner. Miss. Oh. At the buzzer. Miss. Oh. Score? Who made the winning basket? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Popcorn. Hey, you won the bird ball game, buddy. And Seedmore won too. Happy growing, Seedmore. Let's head back to Animal Junction. Great, I'm starving. I wonder what Zabu's up to. Let's find out. Zabu! Where are you, buddy? Pizza! Spaghetti! Yum. <laughs> hey, brothers, I caught you. <laughs> we fell for the oldest trick in the creature world. Good one, Zabu. Thanks, I did it just like my pal. I'll be right back. How was that, Venus? Perfect! I'll show you what I do again. See that fly? I'll catch him. Mungatsika! Brothers, come quick! The plants are alive! This plant here can catch flies, just like I caught you! Well, let us out of here, Sob! Oh, yeah. Thanks, Sabu! Whoa, Venus fly traps! Yeah, and Venus just showed me how to catch a fly, and she just trapped a fly. Well, tell him, Venus. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> I don't know about plants talking, Zabu, but I know what you're talking about. See that water in there? Those are sugary droplets that flies love to eat. That's why the Venus flytrap makes them, to attract the flies in. Well, that's why I put pizza and spaghetti out for you guys, because I know you like to eat it. <laughs> right, and it worked. And when a fly comes in to get the sugar, his legs touch the inside of the plant. And that's when the jaw-like things of the Venus flytrap snapshot, and she catches the fly. Why do these plants need to eat flies? I thought you said plants only need soil, sunlight, and water, and they can make their own food. You're right, Zabu, but Venus flytraps live in areas where there isn't much nutrients in the soil. So, they eat flies to get their nutrients. Wow. Do you want to see her do it again? Pretend this is a fly. Whoa, nice catch. Green creatures are amazing. I know. Hey. That reminds me of a special berry that grows on Mount Sabumafu. Really? In Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Sensit. Oof. I said, hello, Sensit. Oh, hi, Sabu. I'm worried, really worried. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't find my little sister. <laughs> can't find them anywhere. <laughs> Even my super senses can't find them. <laughs> we were taller than the trees. We'd see them for sure. Oh, but we're not taller. We will be. Hey, Snow Lemur, you have a growberry? Oh, sure. Uh, sure, Zabu. Uh, one growberry uh, coming up. Uh. I mean, not uh, down. Yeah, down. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> there, one for you and one for me. So we ate the growberries and we grew bigger and bigger. We grew so giant that we could see clear across Zabu land. Oh, there they are. My little sisters, they're with Bibi. Oh. Here, Sensei, have a shrink berry. So we shrunk back to normal size and went over to Phoebe's pool. <laughs> I found them! Thanks, Zabu! Anytime, Sensit. Sometimes it's good to grow tall. And sometimes it's good to be small. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah! The end. I just love those green creatures. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! See you later, guys. I got an apple seed to plant. <laughs> Bye, Zavu. Keep on leaping, lemur. See you later, buddy. And we'll see you later, too. Hey, Chris, you know, I wonder, did Sabu's green speaker really work? I don't know, but he sure knew a lot about plants that we didn't tell him. Yeah. The green creatures are alive. Hi, my name is Sam. This is my dog, Cleo. 